God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I gotta delete something off this phone. I hope everybody is well out there. Today we are here for Capricorn. Starting back at the beginning. And um, we're gonna get right into these messages that I got for you guys. Okay, so um, the title of your video is The Glass Jar. <laughs> um, so just imagine a person like having some stuff to hide, but they're, where they're hiding it at is in this glass jar. So they're taking secrets out their pocket and stiffing them in the jar, but you can see <laughs> straight through the jar, right? Okay, so they're not really being hid. Somebody can see straight through whatever. Something's happening here. Okay, so I kept hearing see straight through it. Um, and it was like a clear jar where people, um, stiffing stuff in there. A clear jar in the face. And, and I feel like either you or someone around you could be trying to pull a fast one. Um, but the other person can see straight through it. Um, but the person that's trying to pull the fast one. It's like they don't know that they're putting... It's like they didn't, they didn't expect the other person to see straight through it. It's like they don't know they're putting things, whatever they're hi wherever they're hiding it. They don't know that it's a glass jar or they're acting like they don't know. I don't know if the, why they don't know that they're putting it in plain sight, but I don't know. Okay, so... But I just feel like the other person has discernment and they can see straight through it. Um... It's like they want the other person or they think the other person is like not knowing nothing, not seeing nothing or doing anything. Um, I feel like God is revealing the truth. Um, this person always does this and the other just has the other person. Just, the other this the person that's trying to pull fast will always be trying to pull the fast one. The other person just now has a new discernment and now they can see clearly. So the person that been sticking those secrets in the jar, they used to getting away with it. This time, the person can see through it like it's a jar. You see what I'm saying? So, um, they got a new vision. With the new, uh, and with new vision, things appear crystal, crystal clear. And the new vision is discernment. So, somebody's been blessed with discernment, and now they can see straight through the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So, the glass jar. So, I don't know if um, you're stashing in the glass jar or somebody's stashing in the glass jar on you, but they're getting busted, okay? Because God is revealing the truth. 2021 is all about true colors. Nobody will be hiding this year. I don't care who you is. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. What messages do we have for the sign of Capricorn today? Clear and precise messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn, please. What messages do we have? Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for the Capricorns. I think these two they flip maybe. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Ace of Wands on the bottom. Ace of Pentacles coming out. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of of wands and the ace of pentacles so a lot of earth out okay but it says enjoying the fruits of your labor hard work that has led to a, lux a luxurious life buy yourself something special happily and successfully self-employed enjoying your solitude so this could be signifying that some of you guys are single and loving it okay 
um, or you are seeing fruition in some aspect of your life, um, beginning to see fruits of your labor, it's feeling like your hard work is finally paying off. Okay, why is this nine of pentacles here for the Capricorn, please? Can we clarify this nine of pentacles? What is this nine of pentacles for Capricorn? Nine of pentacles. Why is it here for Capricorn, please? Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn, please. Clarify this Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. much ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck somebody separating look like nine of pentacles coming out from marriage cards so the nine of pentacles is clarifying ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck with the five of pentacles under that Somebody is leaving a commitment or being leaving it out in the cold, being done with it finally. Um, but we also got the three of swords here. The three of swords is signifying heartbreak. So somebody's becoming single. Now this could be you or energy that is in your presence. So um, take it where it resonates. Somebody is becoming single, okay? Um, and setting upon a new beginning. Fresh new endeavors, ready to learn, ready to have new fresh beginning. Okay, and somebody is experiencing heartbreak. Okay. Now, just because it hurts you does not mean that you are not um, still happy. Like, you know how things, it hurt, 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 hurt. Then you finally make it through. You're like, oh, I'm glad I got through that. Now, I feel like this, this transition, the transition could have been what hurt you over the time. Or you still could be experiencing hurt because, you know, this is something that could have been long standing with this being a uh, tenant pentacles and the high refine out here could have been a marriage with the ten of cups yeah yeah i feel like this was this is somebody separating from um the family type life okay could have been with somebody that you have children with, with the empress here but i just feel like somebody's headed off to a new beginning okay to learn to 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 to, to grasp onto new skills, to have new fresh beginnings, to have new opportunities, to experience new emotion, okay? To go off and do what they love with the Three of Pentacles. So somebody's just freeing themselves is what it seems like here. <clears throat> and it says, recognition for the highest, highest quality of work. Especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and excellent reputation. So, let's see what's up with that. What's the Spirit of Pentacles here for a Capricorn? You could be um, collaborating with new people <clears throat> in the future. The deck of leads and more um, finances, Pentacles. What's the story of Pentacles? Okay, and some of you could be hurt because possibly um, your reputation could be taking a blow with this whole um, ending of the situation here. The third Pentacles. You have to relocate. You have to stop doing what you love. Yeah, it's something kind of, yeah, some ending here. It's three major, I kind of all coming out with the world card, the death card, and the chariot. So it says, do what you love. Somebody's moving forward, possibly to do what they love. Possibly um, this marriage here or this commitment, whatever it is, it was, um, could have been aligned with your family standards. And with your family morals or what your family feel like was best for you versus what you feel like is best for you. 
And I feel like you're breaking free from that. That's this is this three of cups. I mean, this three of pentacles signifies that that's the end to that. You're closing the cycle to move forward to do what you love to do. Okay, to settle upon the future that you want to have. It says planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. So um, this you could be requiring some patience, or you're just being patient. Okay, to to plan what's ha happening next for you. And it says abundance from past choices. I feel like in this last cycle you learned, okay, um, how to not be doing stuff because it makes other people happy, but to do what makes you happy, okay. No matter what other people think, you breaking forth, bro. You broke free of that, okay. Three of Wands. What's this Three of Wands for Capricorn? Ace of Cups is upright <laughs> and the Page of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is a new perception here to do what you love, okay? And I feel like you gained that perception by not, by, then that's what you're going to be doing here for the future for yourself and when you plan. You're going to you have this perception of doing what you love. No matter what you do, you don't care what you're doing and as long as what you love to do and not what others want for you to do. Okay? And you learn that in the past that that perception you gain that you know now that no matter what you're gonna do, you just gonna make sure you love doing it. You learn that by by not putting the work into what you love to do, by having blockages and and um and stagnations coming on in your life, okay, due to this perception that you lacked okay because before you got that perception there was a stagnation you wasn't doing putting the work and doing what you love okay you was wounded you had your water your, your um your guard up okay now we got this nine of wands in reverse okay so i just feel like you was dealing with a whole like a lot of burdensome energy with the nine of wands in reverse I feel like you was extremely defensive because you were not able to do what you love. It was a blockage in your way. But I feel like you cut through that with this sword and you gained a new perspective. And now no matter what you do going forward, it's just going to always align and contribute to whatever you love. No matter what that is going forward with your new beginnings, Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be doing what you love to do. Taking charge of your life. Okay. And you learned that from the past here. Ace of Pentacles. Why is that here for Capricorn? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. like new i just feel new and this is a lot of new going on here but um with the ace of pentacles it says a windfall of abundance wise counsel or a good fortune an exciting career opportunity a lucrative contract significant, pur um, significant purchases like a new home or a vehicle and some of you could be getting a new home or a new vehicle but i feel like this is a fresh new beginning okay um at the period of and having anxiety and being hurt and feeling possibly left out in the cold um, feeling like having feeling like your finances might have not as been as good as you would like them to be, but I feel like that's all changing here, or that has all changed. That's changed with this Ace of Pentacles, okay? Because you're retreating from lack, retreating from lack, retreating from lack in finances, or out being out in the cold, retreating from deception or conflict. You've over, you are overcoming. You're you're laying on top. That's why I said this is your truth right here, and you're just resting upon it. Okay, so you through that truth, you were able to cut through this conflict and cut through this five of pentacles, this lack, this feeling left out, this thinking you can't or whatever that was for you. So that's that. I'm just winging it like normal. Okay. Got 
God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. What messages do we have for the Capricorn, please? Messages for Capricorn. What messages do we have for the sign of Capricorn? Clear and precisely. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Clear and precise messages for the sign of Capricorn, please. Clear and precise messages for the sign of Capricorn. Clear and precise messages for the sign of Capricorn. Clear and precise messages for the sign of Capricorn. The card trust come out. Okay, so I feel like there could be something that you um, are needing to trust or you just had to trust. Timing, the situation, the circumstance, something. We're going to clarify that. Universe. God, universe, angels, and spirit, God. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Clear and precisely. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Clear and precise. Messages. For Capricorn. What messages for Capricorn, please. What messages do we have for the sign of Capricorn? Messages. Miracles. What messages for Capricorn. And love. This could be new love for some of you, but I just feel like this is all about your own passion and what you love to do. And trusting and miracles, okay? And I told myself I wasn't going to do no kipper this week, but I love this deck. So I'm just going to get y'all one card. Everybody getting one card from the kipper. What card do we have for Capricorn? Clean precisely one card for Capricorn, please. Messages. For the Capricorn, what's up? What card do we have? Clear and concise message for the Capricorn. Clear message for Capricorn. Thief. Thief. Dang. Thief. Somebody could be trying to steal time, money, or energy. That's a pickpocketer there. Or it could have been a situation you feel like you gave more than you got. Okay, but we're going to clarify that. Let me put this right here because I already used that. I'm going to clarify this trust card first. Why is trust here for Capricorn? Clarify this trust card. Why did you show Capricorn trust? What is trust? Clarify trust. What does Capricorn need to know about the trust? What does Capricorn need to know about trust, please? Clarify trust and what Capricorn needs to know about trust. Trust. What does Capricorn need to know about trust? I'm hearing the process, so I feel like you could need to trust the process or some of you. Trust. Why is trust here for Capricorn? The four of wands and a star. Trust. Why is that here? And the three of cups. The nine of cups, three of cups, star. This is two cards that signify wish fulfillment. Okay, so I feel like you're needing to trust and have faith and have hope in the situation. Okay, could be to do with some wish, some fulfillment of wishes. Okay, okay, um. Now, you need to have trust because I feel like the way that you possibly four, four of uh, wands. In this card, I always say that this woman is reaching for a man. This is stability, okay? She's reaching for stability with somebody that cannot come with her, okay? So, he can't offer her stability, in other words. So, I feel like this is signifying whatever the situation is that you're reaching for, maybe in a, in a, in a particular way that you feel like you want it or you feel like you need it. And I feel like that the way it's turning out is not exactly the way that you feel like you want or need it. But I feel like you're needing to still trust the situation, still have faith in the situation, and, and still know that your hopes and dreams and wishes are going to come true. Okay, there will be a reason to celebrate with friends or um, this could be somebody hoping for a reconciliation. But it looks like um, that might not be best for them. And, and if, if that, that might be, okay. A reconciliation might or might not be possible. I don't want to say that here. But this is there will be a reason to celebrate. Um 
just keep trust trusting in the divine detail detours okay and divine time and trust that miracles do happen okay why is miracle here for capricorn clarify miracle what does capricorn need to know about miracle please clarify this miracle card for capricorn two of pentacles five of swords and the will of fortune yeah, and as I was just saying about divine time, and I just feel like miracles. I feel like things are happening below the surface that you are not aware of. Okay. And there could have been somebody that betrayed you here with the five of wands, five of uh, swords here. And um, the universe. It is it's spinning karma back around to bring in the balance, to bring in the justice, to balance out the situation. Just believe in miracles. You're you're being asked to trust the situation because miracles do happen. Things, something is happening underneath the surface that you are not aware of. And it's going to bring balance to the situation uh, where there was once conflict or betrayal. What is this five of swords? Five of swords. Clarify this five of swords for Capricorn, please. What does this five of swords signify for Capricorn? Clarify this five of swords, please. Three of swords, yeah. Heartbreak, betrayal, confusion, burdens. Yeah, that's what this is. Trust in the miracles. So that's why the Ace of Pentacles, it was out there. It's the Ace of Pentacles here again. It's saying that after a period of confusion and heavy burdens that you put down, you're gifted. You, you have a new beginning coming in. Okay. Whatever this uh, betrayal was, it hurt somebody. Possibly you or the person you're dealing with. Why is love here? Clarify love. For Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about love? got the seven of swords the hangman and the two of wands but on the bottom of the deck we got the ace of wands and the queen of cups which in this deck the queen of cups she pours out her emotions so for some of you there could be a sense where you are hoping to go back to somebody um, but you're reaching for some stability that cannot be had with that person. Even though you're hoping for a reconciliation, you're needing to trust the process. Keep hope alive in your dreams and know that they can still be delivered even if it's not in the way you feel like it should be delivered. Okay, and trust that miracles happen. Divine timing is at play to bring in balance out this deception, this heartbreak, or whatever it is. And um, then we'll clarifying love. And I feel like there there's new love here. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying that for the people that didn't want new love. But it's saying, look at that. She pours her emotion out. And there's a new passion to begin and to follow her path. So this love needs to go, it looks like, in order for you to get onto your path here. Could have been uh, connected with another earth sign. Or that could be you. Um, wanting to balance or having an emotional offer brought in by a king of pentacles. Could be dealing with a water, a water sign. Or you could be... Um, heartfeltly one to reconnect with the earth sign okay so anyway love we have deception here i don't know if the, if the love there's some kind of love in your life that has been stagnated or stuck due to deception okay and now a decision is needing to be made but let's see what is this seven of swords what's the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords for capricorn what does capricorn need to know about the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords please Some deception. Some deception and a commitment or a marriage and justice needing to balance it out. Hangman. That's why the stagnation was there. It's saying that the love was stagnated due to the deception. And justice had to balance it out by giving somebody a decision. Yeah. 
So the hangman clarifies the leap of faith in the sun card. That goes back to making me feel about last week where somebody is being deceptive in love to keep this person stuck to, to, to take a leap of faith in. But somebody's illuminated or they're taking a the leap of faith to be happy because justice is coming in and serving it and giving this person a decision. And it looks like the person, it's somebody's going to be uh, passionately charging the calmer waters with the new perspective that they gained here. Then we got thief. That's why I said somebody's stealing time, money, energy, or something's happening here. And what is this two of wands? What's the decision? I'm about to get this clarification on that. Decision. This is two of wands. Oh, okay. So justice, yeah. Somebody, justice is being served here. That's what this is. Karma done spun around on somebody's ass for trying to keep somebody stuck so the love somebody's needing trust in the divine detours even though it ain't how they wanted it to be so maybe somebody was somebody was trying to uh, keep somebody stuck in a love situation in a commit in a commitment in a marriage possibly um maybe to cloud some decision but justice is coming through to serve it yeah because it, i feel like somebody just somebody purposely decided to keep, confuse somebody with the sun and the, the eight of swords, somebody pers purposely decided, made a decision to confuse somebody, to be strategic and confuse somebody in love, possibly because of this commitment. Maybe they wanted to keep it or they wanted it to stay, but that caused another person to be sta stuck and stagnated. So now it's, it's appearing as deception. Now karma is serving back around and boom, look, the person's still leaping and the other person's just a thief. Why is, let's clarify, yes, yeah, so somebody's playing crazy out here, playing with fire, you gotta get their ass burnt, why is Thief here, this is from last week, yeah, where I was saying that somebody was trying to destroy destiny for somebody, and now we got Thief, look at you, you better not be trying to steal no destiny, Capricorn, and nobody better not be trying to steal none of yours, because God don't like ugly, you will strike, don't play that, don't play that kind of stuff, y'all. Don't deal with people that play that kind of stuff. Why is Thief here? Thief. Clarify this Thief card for Capricorn. Clarify this Thief card. It's, it's somebody. It's somebody. It's somebody. It's one. It's either an Earth sign you or an Earth sign you dealing with. Somebody isn't. Look at that. Look at that deception on the bottom of the deck somebody is trying to steal somebody is trying to steal something or be deceptive about something somebody somebody is being deceptive about the inspiration of the emperor or something like that having victory and there's that ace of wands that new beginning somebody is trying to keep the emperor or something <laughs> something that's what this look deception deceptive we clarifying thieves somebody's being deceptive because they're inspired or they 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 see an idea. They got an idea about deception from emperor. Emperor takes charge. Okay, so being deceptive about emperor having victory in a new begin in in um the ace of wands that path. But look, justice is under there lurking like karma. Yeah, bitch, I see you. Whoever they need to see, because whatever they see is happening right here on the bottom of this deck ain't cool. And it could be the woman, cause she's the one in the reverse. And look. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, there's that commitment that somebody's trying to, somebody's on some bullshit here. And here's the clarity right here. The clarity is that this person is found, is being going to be found out this week or this month. This person's going to receive some clarity about this, but let's clarify. I want to see. I'm nosy. Why, why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? We're going to look at her first. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why is she here? Clarify Queen of Pentacles reverse to Capricorn. Why is she here? See, them, that, I wasn't going to do the Kipper deck. The Kipper deck get up in your business. They tell a little much. <laughs> Glad I'm living good. I mean, like, I'm being honest out here. Not saying that y'all ain't, but whoever ain't is, interested, is being found out. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Queen of Pentacles, the woman in the situation, does not feel inspired about being single. She don't want to be on her own. She don't want to come out this Queen of Pentacles position. And that's the truth right there. So, what, what, uh, so that's what yeah that's what it is look a perception about moving forward 
Yeah, that person don't. I don't know what that is, but one more on this Queen of Pentacles reverse. She's manipulative in the reverse, by the way. Somebody's trying to manipulate something here in order to keep somebody from something else, and that makes them a thief. And God don't like thieves. Y'all remember them Ten Commandments, right? Yep, that's what it is. The person don't want the perception. They don't want this person to see the perception of being sick. Yeah, uh-uh. Somebody on some bullshit here. So what's this King of Pentacles? King of Cups. I just had seen the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Oh. Then that goes back to somebody reaching for stability right here that they can't have. So they don't want somebody to have stability right here. It's like somebody knows that how I know how good you're capable of loving somebody and I don't want you, but I don't want nobody else to have you either. Or I do want you and you don't want me, so I don't want nobody else to have you. It's like that. Somebody playing crazy. And they bullshitting. Yep. King of Pentacles. So we clarify this King of Pentacles. He has the inspiration and the upright. Page of Wands. Feeling inspired. Passionate new idea. Possibly have an emotion about some stability, some long term foundation. And Queen of Pentacles in reverse here is like, uh uh. Nope. I plan on being by myself, and that's my perception. So somebody's lying here. Somebody look at that tower. That's the tower. We're being readjusted for somebody can see that crown. And I love when it fall out with that king of and it could I think it's him. It's him. It's the man that needs the readjustment because look at his crown. His crown is right here. And this tower right here, I call this tower the readjustment of the crown. This tower's coming in to show this man the truth on what's happening here to readjust his crown so he can see. Because look, he ain't paying attention. Why this shit is blowing up in his face. That's the tower. Because somebody's been holding back something. Or holding on to something. And this is a cycle. This cycle got to come to a close in order for this work. This fifth, this leap of faith must be important. Now let's see what's up with this Ace of Wands here. That's gonna be the clarity, the communication that comes in about the thief. Somebody about to be in trouble. Somebody about to be found out because God is sending out discernment. Somebody's like, that's why we talking about the glass jar because nobody's gonna be at. Somebody not gonna be able to hide anymore. Yep, God is sending out the truth and the deception that somebody don't want. One more on this. Somebody do not want somebody to have victory. Or be appreciated or something here. Yep. Somebody do not want to have somebody else working together to have any kind of victory. Look at that. That's the truth. Somebody fell in the motherfucker. Look. And some communication going to go in. And that's a motherfucker going to put an end right to it. And the stagnation going right out the window with it. And the King of Wands coming through. To take a leadership role. To say, you know what? Uh -uh, I'm done with the situation. Somebody going to get cut off. By who they feel is a wish fulfillment because they're playing games. Bam. I don't like it. I don't, this is the second week in a row. This fuckery is going on up in this Capricorn zone. I don't like it, Capricorn. Clear this shit away from you. And if it's just you, get off that bullshit. You hear me? All right, now. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Peace.